I have been posting weekend prep videos here on YouTube for almost five years. I can hardly believe it. The first one I ever posted was in April of 2018, but in all of this time and in all my time of being a full-time working mom, I feel like I have some tips and tricks to share with you about how to prep on Sunday to make your week super successful. And so today I'm gonna take you through a regular Sunday with me and I'm gonna show you what I did and give you some tips and tricks to be more productive so that you are not dreading Monday morning. Let's go. I'm a firm believer that a good and productive day starts the night before. So the night before, I always try to make a list of everything that I want to get done. I try to choose not more than three projects or three things to get done because otherwise it's kind of like not attainable and you're not going to be able to get everything done and you're just going to get super frustrated. Also go to bed at a decent time. I know this is sometimes difficult on the weekends, but I try to keep my schedule as much as possible on the weekends. Sometimes I do sleep in, but on this particular night, I decided to go to bed around 11 so that I could still get up at seven the next morning and have the day ahead of me. I am definitely uh, prefer to be a morning person. I always feel more productive the earlier that I get up. And even though seven isn't super early, I still feel like, especially on a weekend, it still gives you a whole day ahead of you to get things done. So let the dogs out. And then I always like to open up the curtains just to get some light in the house. Uh, if you can also get sunlight on your eyes, that will help you wake up. I feel like that's why I have such a hard time waking up super early in the winter, just because it stays dark until like 7:30 uh, in the morning, but spring is coming. So Thank goodness for that. So after I let the dogs back in, then of course I have to give them uh, a treat. And sometimes I wake up in the morning and exercise the first thing. I actually prefer that, but sometimes I will just sit and relax and wake up, which is actually what I did this morning. I sat on the couch and checked my emails and I cuddled my dog Milo, who <laughs> loves to sleep in the sun. I personally feel like rituals are very important to morning routines and really help you have a more productive day and can even like help you get out of bed and look forward <laughs> to waking up in the morning. One of mine is to have my energy drink every morning. It's an early bird morning cocktail. This just gives me a lot of hydration and energy. And even though it's called a cocktail, no, it does not have any alcohol in it. Um, it's basically kind of just like an energy drink without the carbon and I like to dilute it in a big glass of water. That way I can start out my day hydrating with some delicious cherry limeade. After that, I went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen. I had a lot of cooking and filming to do on this particular day and I just know myself and I know that I'm not gonna be as productive if I start out with a dirty kitchen. And so actually this started the night before also. I was able to get my sink clean and my dishes cleared and this is something that I know helps set my mind at ease and so I would just encourage you to kind of think of how your mind works and what bothers you in your house and what you feel like hinders your productivity if you know that if your living room is a mess and it's going to bother you then go ahead and clean that up and you'll have a much more productive day. Another thing I always use is Green Chef. They're actually sponsoring today's video, so thank you to them. I use their service because it takes, honestly, so much mental energy out of grocery shopping and meal prepping and meal planning and all of that to just know that you can get a box delivered right to your door and you can have however many dinners you want for the week. I always get three dinners. And so I know that those are three nights during the week that I don't have to shop. I don't have to plan and I know exactly what we're gonna have. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and the great thing about them too is that they have options for every lifestyle. They have keto and paleo meal kits, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and gluten free. My favorite one is the fast and fit because I am currently on a journey to lose 75 pounds and so that's another reason why I just love getting Green Chef is that 
Everything is planned out for you. Everything comes pre-portioned. Their fast and fit meals are under 700 calories and ready in 25 minutes or less. So they make cooking really easy so you can spend less time stressing and more time enjoying home cooked meals. I also think that Green Chef is a great option for those of you who aren't as confident in the kitchen. I think that a lot of the benefit of this is that you can try out new recipes without having to invest a lot into expensive ingredients and the instructions are super easy to follow they give you really colorful recipe cards which i love because if we end up liking the recipe then i save it so i can make it later this week i made this delicious pork chop dish which was super healthy and really delicious i also just love that it gets me to eat more veggies in creative ways so if you guys want to try out grain chef i highly highly recommend them you can use my code jen 60 and you're going to get 60% off plus free shipping. You can go to grainchef.com for more details. Once again, the code is genchapin60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. So make sure you take advantage of that. I'll have the link in the description box below as well as a pinned comment. And the bonus is that you might have leftovers to meal prep for more meals during the week like I did on this particular night. So another thing that I always uh, try to do on Sunday is to kind of map out our meal plan for the week. And then I also um, get groceries or actually in this case, got groceries delivered for breakfast and lunches and a couple of dinners. I think that it's super helpful to use a meal planner and I use the Cariel meal planner, which I've been using her meal planners for years. I always have them linked uh, with the discount in my description box if you're interested in that. And if you don't know how to meal plan, I also have a really comprehensive meal planning course. You can join us over there in the classroom if you're interested in that. I'll have that link in the description box below. But I am someone who actually really enjoys grocery shopping. And so I kind of have to stop myself some weekends from actually going to the grocery store because between making my list, shopping, Shopping, putting everything away, filming the haul, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I can spend like three hours on that, no joke. And so most of the time lately, I've been trying to get my groceries delivered because it does just save me a ton of time. And yes, it can be a little bit more expensive, especially when you're tipping your delivery driver. But to me, my time is worth a lot also. And it just takes that stress out of spending all that time <laughs> at the store. Um, I also always try to get all of my sink uh, cleaned out and dishes hand washed and everything like that on the weekend because I know once the stress of the work and the school week starts, the less dishes that I can have waiting for me to do, the better. And if you guys have school age kids, you know that the water bottles are out of control. Like you're always just washing <laughs> water bottles for your kids to take to school every day. Okay, so now it's time to feed the doggies. So they get fed twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. And so I'm just mixing their dog food up and I'll give that to them. And then they can go ahead and eat while I go upstairs and get ready. So this is something that I feel like is optional, but I will tell you anytime, even on the weekends that I get myself ready, which means I do my makeup. It doesn't have to be fancy makeup, just a little bit of makeup and do my hair and get dressed. Even if it's just like in cute t-shirt and sweatpants, I always feel more put together. I always feel like I get more done. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's just a mindset thing, but it's definitely something that helps me be more productive during the day, regardless of whether it's uh, a weekend or a weekday. Kind of on the same theme of today's video about like planning and productivity, would you guys be interested in more types of those videos? I know that I've kind of experimented with that content before here on my channel, and it is something that I enjoy doing. I have a paper planner that I swear by, and I also have different kind of modalities of electronic planning um, or electronic planning that I use also. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, let me know in the comments below. I have tons of opportunity this year for new videos. So always love to take your suggestions. So on this day, like I said, I just put on a t-shirt and some, uh, sweatpants or 
joggers, I guess you could call it, uh, both from Torrid. So if I can find them, I'll link them down below. Okay, now I went over to my desk and I'm just doing some organizing. I am in the process of organizing my whole entire office right now and it is a freaking mess, but you guys will see that in an upcoming video. I'm almost done with it. I just have a bit more to kind of clean out and organize, but it's gonna be so, so much better. I already love it so much better <laughs> already. And I feel like when you have a cluttered space, your mind is just cluttered also. I've been noticing that like more and more over the past couple months. And so that's really an effort that I'm making this year is to clean and declutter. Okay, so it's 1 p.m. and my groceries just got here, so. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you guys a real quick grocery haul. So I got some foil pans because I do have to deliver a lasagna this afternoon. So I wanted to have those. I've been out, I need to go to Costco and get some more. I got a couple containers of strawberries, some applesauce, popcorn shrimp for Kira. I got a Caesar salad kit when I drop off uh, the lasagna today and then I got a jar of Prego because I needed a little bit more to make that lasagna. I got a fresh pineapple, some sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches, uh, cheddar cheese sticks, and then some shredded iceberg lettuce. A couple packs of the Oh Snap pickles for lunches and then a cucumber. Um, I also got some fresh raspberries and then they actually had fresh peaches. I don't know how ripe they are, probably not very ripe at all, but Kira will be excited for those. I got Kira some uh, bean and rice burritos. She likes those. Lunch meat, so ham and turkey. Um, I got some bacon to have on hand, a bunch of bananas, some chili in case Adam wants to make chili dogs this week. And then I also got some of these lunch uh, tuna salad kits for Kira. That is one of her favorite things is tuna salad, so I figured she would like those. I got a couple loaves of bread, some Capri Sun, some soup for Adam to take to work for lunch, um, some pita pockets, Kira's been liking to eat those too, some French onion dip. I have some chips that I got from Thrive Market, so I figured we could use those with that. Some Fritos, uh, cheese sauce, pretzels, tortilla chips, some ricotta for the lasagna, cottage cheese for the lasagna, and then a couple of bottles of Fair Life milk. Okay, so I'm gonna get this put away. Okay, so I've got a lasagna to deliver later, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this assembled and into the oven. I just have some meat sauce that I defrosted. It was in the freezer, so I like to keep that um, on hand, that way it's super easy to put these together. And then I boiled up some lasagna noodles. I like to boil them partially so that they'll finish cooking in the lasagna unless I do the uh, no boil noodles, but these are just regular. And then I mixed up my ricotta mixture. So ricotta, cottage cheese, one egg, um, Parmesan cheese, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna use a combination of mozzarella and provolone. I will link lasagna love down below in the description box if you guys want to sign up to deliver lasagnas or if you need a home cooked meal yourself it is a great service and it helps your neighbors or it gives you help if you need help as well okay so the lasagna is done i just took it out of the oven right here and the bread is in the oven that is finishing up so i'm gonna wrap everything up box it up and then we'll go deliver so this lasagna turned out really, really good looking. Obviously I didn't taste it because it wasn't ours, but I've made it so many times that I know it's good. And then I wrapped my bread up. I always try to pack it in a box just so it's easier to carry. It doesn't spill. So I've got lasagna in here, bread, and then I'm gonna leave the salad on the outside obviously so I don't want that to get warm. So I just dropped off the food and I'm gonna go treat myself to a Starbucks because I've been working in the kitchen all day and I feel like I need a, a treat. Um, I was gonna catch you guys up on what I did today. So 
Last weekend I started filming a three dinners for $20 video and I did not get to like cooking the stuff until this weekend. So I ended up making two of the dishes for lunch and then the other dish I went ahead and made and it's just gonna be prepped um, in the freezer for us to have later. I think this is like, I don't know, this is probably the fifth, fifth or sixth week in a row that I've delivered a, a lasagna for Lasagna Love. Some weeks I get two requests, um, some weeks I get one, some weeks I get none, but you can like basically set your schedule. Um, I did kind of, I did go and put myself on a pause for a couple of weeks because I have some heavy work travel coming up and it's just difficult for me to kind of fit stuff like that in when I'm traveling so much. But when I'm home, I try to do it um, as, as much as I can. I'm very happy that I don't have to go to Orlando tomorrow. Like honestly, when I have to leave for the week and travel for work, if I have to leave super early on a Monday morning, it just makes me so anxious <laughs> all weekend. Like, I don't know what the deal is. It just like, I just keep thinking, I gotta get up at 3 a.m., I gotta get up at 3 a.m. It's like, but I'm not leaving until Tuesday morning. So I guess I get up at 3 a.m. on Tuesday morning. I'm staying home tomorrow because we have parent-teacher conferences uh, for both kids and I didn't want to miss those. Um, Connor also has soccer practice, so probably Adam and I will both take him to that and then he's got a haircut and we'll probably go to Kira's conferences. So lots of, lots of busyness. I had a mobile order for Jennifer. For Jennifer? Yeah, let's have we have that. Good before. Thank you. Fun fact, no one in my family calls me Jen. Oh, Jennifer. When Adam calls me Jennifer. In fact, I went by Jennifer my whole entire life until I started uh, my first nursing job after I graduated with my RN. And people just started calling me Jen uh, on the floor that I worked on. And so then I just went by that. <laughs> And then when I started like getting into social media, when I was doing scrapbooking, like back in the early 2000s, like 2005, six shit, six ish, um, I started going by Jen, Jen Chapin online. So that's what I go by now. So something else I always do on the weekends is prep all of my produce. In this case, I had a bunch of fruit to prep because I knew I was going to be going out of town later this week for work. And I always just like to make sure that I have fresh fruit in the refrigerator for the kids to put in their lunches and eat and snack on. So I don't know, it just, it just makes me feel better knowing they have fruit and veggies. <laughs> when I'm going to go on uh, a work trip. So I washed up some strawberries and cut those up. I also had some grapes to wash up and um, wash those and got them into a container. I've really been loving these Rubbermaid containers, these clear plastic ones. They have, they're pretty airtight and they honestly keep your food fresh for a long time. So it wouldn't be a weekend without laundry. I always try my best to get caught up on as much laundry as I can. Um, and really I'm only doing my laundry and my son's laundry, both my daughter and my husband do their own laundry. So really I, you know, it could be a lot worse, but it's still something that I try to get done, especially if I know I'm gonna be going out of town for work. I need to know that I have clean clothes and there is Milo going to sleepy sleep for the night. It's 11.30 and I literally don't think I could have done one more thing today. I, I'm so tired. <laughs> After I filmed everything I needed to film and I think I crossed most of the stuff off my list. I don't know, my to-do list is up on my desk so I need to look at that tomorrow morning but I would say I had a very productive Sunday so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. All right guys, happy Monday morning. So I'm just reviewing my to-do list that I made this weekend and seeing what I got done. So we made our lasagna, we delivered the lasagna. I finished filming my video. I planned for the week, I planned my videos for the week. I also did lots of other stuff that I didn't put on the list like prepping my produce, laundry and all of that good stuff. I had taxes 
on my list of getting all our stuff together but i i put a question mark after that because i wasn't sure if that was going to happen and use flash it didn't <laughs> it didn't happen so i'll have to push that to another day or possibly probably most likely <laughs> next weekend but i do hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you some insight into what i try to get done on the weekends to prep for a successful work week i really did go to bed last night feeling super accomplished and like I really did a lot. I actually got like 12,000 steps on my Apple Watch yesterday, which is kind of crazy since I didn't really do any like purposeful exercise. You know, there are weekends where I kind of beat myself up, like I should have got more done, I didn't get enough done, but this weekend I felt really accomplished and like I did everything <laughs> that I humanly, uh, possibly that's not correct grammar and that uh, everything done that uh, was humanly possible i guess you would say so thanks for coming along with me don't forget to check out green chef i'll have that link in the description box below so make sure you grab your discount and i will see you in my next video bye